Inside Yellowstone's fiery heart, rice researchers map volatile rich layer, offering clues to future volcanic activity. Beneath the steaming geysers and bubbling mudflats of Yellowstone National Park lies one of the world's most closely observed volcanic systems. Now, a team of geologists has found new evidence that sheds light on how this formidable system will behave in the future and what might keep it from erupting. The findings were recently published in Nature. A team of researchers from Rice University, the University of New Mexico, the University of Utah, and the University of Texas at Dallas has discovered a sharp, volatile, rich layer of ice just 2.2 miles (3.8 kilometers) beneath Yellowstone's surface. This layer of ice, made of magma, acts like a lid, helping to contain the pressure and heat beneath it. Using innovative controlled source seismic imaging and sophisticated computer models, their findings suggest that Yellowstone's magma reservoir is actively releasing gas while remaining stable. The research, led by Rice's Chenglong Duan and Brandon Schmant and their collaborators, provides new insights into how magma, volatiles, and fluids move within Earth's crust. We've known for decades that there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary have been big questions, said Schmant, a professor of Earth, environmental and planetary sciences. What we found is that this reservoir is not capped. It's been there for a few million years, but it's still dynamic. Previous research suggested the top of Yellowstone's magma system could be two to five miles, three to eight kilometers, deep. An uncertainty that had geologists debating how the current magma system compares to conditions before previous eruptions. That changed after Schmant conducted a high-resolution seismic survey of the northeastern part of the caldera. A 53,000-pound vibro-sized truck, typically used for oil and gas exploration, essentially generated small earthquakes to send seismic waves into the ground. These waves bounce off the subsurface and are recorded at the surface, revealing a sharp boundary at a depth of about 3.8 kilometers. 
As magma rises and decompresses in a volcanic system, gases such as water and carbon dioxide dissolve from the melt, forming bubbles. In some cases, these bubbles can accumulate, increasing buoyancy and potentially triggering an explosive eruption. But current conditions at Yellowstone seem to tell a different story. Although we detect volatile rich layers, the bubble and melt content is below levels typically associated with an imminent eruption, Schmant said. Instead, the system appears to be efficiently venting gas through cracks and channels between mineral crystals, which I think makes sense given Yellowstone's abundant hydrothermal features that emit magmatic gas. Schmant likened the system to a steady breather, with bubbles rising and escaping through the porous rock, a natural pressure relief valve that lowers the risk of an eruption. the last volcanic eruption at Yellowstone is this 70,000-year event. 